to the top of the mountain and find the jewel. Snoozer is super careful to grab it because if he makes too much noise, the idol will wake up. So Snoozer uses his vacuum. So the idol wakes up and starts shooting fireballs out of his mouth at Checkers and Snoozer. Oh boy, Snoozer. Flip! Double flip! Triple flip! They run to the docks, but the boat is underwater. Oh no! Well, Snoozer, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna use your rocket boosters? No! They use the flying checkers van to escape! Well, that was quite the escape from Fireball Island, Snoozer. Great work. Hey, checkers! What's that on the box? On the box there? Oh, those are volcanoes, Snoozer. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Snoozer volcanoes. Here we go. There's more on the back of the box. All the way around Fireball Island, you'll find a bunch of bursting volcanoes. What's a volcano? You don't know what a volcano is? That's pretty interesting. But what is it? Whoa, 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 Snoozer. Now that I know that you don't know what a volcano is, we're gonna have to learn about that. And learn about it pretty soon on today's Reading Road Trip. Check, check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? All right, snoozer. It is time for your three hints. I'm ready. Hint number one. It is indoor. Hint number two. It is a place you go to learn. And hint number three. You go there every weekday. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Are we turning around and going home? No. What do you mean? I go home every weekday, learn things, and... And it's inside. Snoozer, I'm talking about your school, Mrs. Hamilton's classroom. Oh, wowee! So we get to do the craft with Mrs. Hamilton and visit Mrs. Hamilton? Precisely, Snoozer. Let me pull up the map. We are headed to Mrs. Hamilton's classroom. Along the way, we're going to do a craft with your teacher, Mrs. Hamilton. Woohoo! I'm seeing Mrs. Hamilton twice a rooney! Yeah, Mrs. Hamilton does a science experiment involving volcanoes. And when you mentioned volcanoes earlier, I knew this would be a great place to visit. And hey, along the way, maybe we can even check out books about science experiments. That would be super duper. Well, let's do it. Here come the books. Time to catch them. What was the button for my net? That. What'd we get, Checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Experiment with Outdoor Science by Nick Arnold. And Let Me Love Science, Mix and Measure by Kimberly Durting and Shelly R. Johannes. Cool. Well, Experiment with Outdoor Science is the exact type of book I was talking about. A book full of science experiments we can do outdoors. And oh man, is this book impressive. Each page is bursting with unique experiments we can do. On top of the visually interesting things we can make, this book has tons of information that will teach us the science behind what we're doing. So we aren't just making these exciting science projects, we're also learning science while we do it. 
Snoozer, wouldn't it be fun to do all the experiments that are in this book? Yeah, we could do one every day. Then I will be a genius scientist. E equals MC squared. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Excuse me. Yes? Why? A genius scientist never reveals their secrets. Uh, I think you might need a little bit more education before you get there, Snoozer, but hey, reading a book like this is a pretty good start. Yes, and I see a volcano project in here, too. Yes, you're right, Snoozer, and that project is pretty similar to the volcano we're going to be making today with Mrs. Hamilton. Hey, but while we're talking about volcanoes, I think this would be the best time for us to do a volcano craft with Mrs. Hamilton. How does that sound? Yes, please! I'm in a really explosive mood. All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now, get all of our crayons, our paper, our pencil together, and make our volcano craft right now. Well, hi, Snoozer. Are you ready to make your volcano? You're going to need this sheet. And once you cut out the pieces, you're going to need something to glue the pieces onto. So you, if you have a blue piece of construction paper, that works. If you don't, that's all right. You can just use a white piece of paper and maybe you could color a fancy background, color it all blue or purple, whatever your favorite color is. All right, so need glue and scissors and let's get to work. And then when you're finished with that, you can write your name in the cloud, or you can write the word volcano. And then, if you wish, so if you want to make maybe some lava coming down. All right, how'd you do? Wow, I love it. This is mine. I forgot to hold mine up. So I'll see you next time, okay? Bye! Hi, boys and girls! Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own snoozer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Boom! Well, that is one monstrous volcano there, Snoozer. Thanks! Oh my! Now I want to make the real volcano even more! Sure, and now might be a great time to talk about our second book, also a science-themed book. Libby loves science, mix and measure. Science isn't just found in the classroom. It's with us in everyday life, all the time. And this is a story that reminds us of that, as we follow Libby preparing for a party. She's making cupcakes, and that means she has to be able to measure and properly follow a recipe. And that is the exact thing we're going to be doing later today as we make our volcano experiment. Libby has to mix different ingredients together that, when combined, will make a delicious cupcake. But if she doesn't follow the instructions correctly, she won't have a good dessert. So Libby will have to learn to try and try again as she pursues her goal of making the tasty treats. Wait a minute! So you're saying, if I become a great scientist, I will also be a great chef? Well, Snoozer, just like being a scientist, being a chef requires a lot of skill and practice. But if you put your mind to it, you really can accomplish anything. But the point of this book is simply to show us that science is everywhere around us. So understanding how to follow directions and learning about chemical reactions and how they work can be super helpful to our lives. Chemical reactions? Hmm. Well, Mrs. Hamilton might have a lot to say about chemical reactions, Snoozer. And guess what? We arrived at Mrs. Hamilton's class. So we're going to park down right here. We're going to meet with Mrs. Hamilton, learn all about chemical reactions while we make our volcano craft. Let's park down here. Hi, Mrs. Hamilton. Well, hello. Well, I brought Snoozer along because we wanted to do a volcano craft. All right. So are you able to make us a volcano? I will give it my best effort. I got some Play-Doh. Now I happen
happen to have brown Play-Doh, but you can use any color because it's not a real volcano, so you can make it any color you want. So, hmm, if I open it up, it already kind of comes like that. It almost looks like a volcano, right? Yeah, maybe, it's like maybe, a mountain right now. So yeah, so of... maybe if I push it down a little, mm, all right, and then a volcano, it kind of has a hole in it. That's where the lava comes up. So what is the science behind what we're going to be doing today? All right, well, we are going to make a chemical reaction. And we're going to be using two ingredients. I got myself some vinegar, and I have some baking soda. Now, when you mix the two, they cause a chemical reaction. It is called an acid-base reaction. So which one is the acid and which one is the base? Base is baking soda, B for base. And the vinegar is the acid. And an important part of this experiment is that it's an acid in water. So we're gonna be mixing them together. Mixing them together. And then something happens. That's and something that something that happens is what a chemical reaction is. Yes, it is. So the baking soda takes a proton from the vinegar and it causes the baking soda to transform into water and carbon dioxide. And that is what's gonna make the bubbling. All right, well, I can't wait to see it. So we're gonna put it into the volcano. Yes, but I want this to look authentic. So I thought I would add a little bit of red food coloring to my vinegar, just to make it look like lava. Now, lava is actually the magma, the hot liquid that is in the earth. But when it comes up in past the earth's surface, it turns into Lava. So this is going to be the lava. All right, so I'm going to try this out. I'm going to put a little baking soda into my volcano. All right. So the baking soda goes in first, and then we're going to add the vinegar, which is now our lava. Uh -huh. And then hopefully we're going to see the carbon dioxide and the water form, and it's going to bubble up. I hope. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Wow, Stooger, we made our very own volcano. What do you think about that? That was so awesome. All right, well, thanks for having me. Yeah, we'll have to come and visit you again sometime soon. Okay, great. Thanks, bye, Mrs. Hamilton. Bye. Pretty cool day, Snoozer. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I have so many science experiments to do now. I'm in such a science mood. So much practice needed, so little time. Ah, oh, don't worry, Snoozer. There's still plenty of time to make you a science whiz. Yippers! And pretty soon, we're going to be going to another very, very exciting place, Snoozer, with lots to do and even more to learn on our next Reading Road Trip. <laughs>